still undecided kung magka-participate ka sa DDMP or IPO this year. Hopefully, this review will help you, especially doon sa feature natin na uh, ARIT versus DDMPR. And also, we will be looking at INJAP's IPO DD versus MM versus DDMPR. So stay tuned, I'll be back. Here's a quick summary no, ng DDMPR. Most likely, nakita nyo na siya, so I will just point out doon sa mga tingin kong importanteng part, no? especially dito sa use of proceeds. So, with, so, DD intends to invest its proceeds sa apat na office towers sa Metro Manila, dalawa sa Boracay and sa Cebu, and then 20 warehouses complex located all over the Philippines under an equity infusion on its subsidiary CHICI which I think is napapanahon dahil in terms of warehousing and logistics Philippines as a whole is still on its infancy stage dito naman makikita natin yung actual properties or assets ng company so as we know it is located at a 4.75 hectare prime double corner lot for real estate Corner lots are golden, so we can expect a good appreciation nito on the near future. It has also completed 6 buildings in DD Meridian Park. Apat dito is nasa Double Dragon Plaza, plus yung Double Dragon East and Double Dragon West. So I won't bore you with a lot of infos here dahil as I have mentioned, most likely na panood na ito sa ibang videos. So instead, I'll go directly doon sa mga important part para mas makita natin siya. We will be starting here sa dividend information. Given that REITs are considered to be good dividend stocks, it's important na we try to review kung ano ba yung naging history nito na on the cash dividends. Although hindi naman lahat na ibigay dito sa data na to, most likely meron pang mga older dividend information. But for now, we'll just look at what we have on this particular table na nag-start noong May 15, 2019. If we try to analyze this one noong 2019, it gave around uh, 0.1773 if we try to combine all this. no. If we try to use the same IPO price for the 2019, we will be reaching at about 2.38% dividend yield for the year 2019. Yung 2020 kasi hindi pa yung kompleto ng data. So hanggang sa August 15 pa lang siya. Also based on the prospectus, we can see here that the projected dividend per share yield by 2021 is nasa around 5.07%. While on 2022 naman, 5.45%. To be honest, medyo nangingiling ako dito sa part na to, no? Kasi as we know, there are some stocks na nagbibigay ng more than 5% and even yung mga preferred shares. So, on this particular note, medyo disappointed ako doon sa nagiging projection. However, as I have mentioned kanina, this is a long-term play. So, eventually, as the rental income goes up, dividend yield should also go up. Okay? Siyempre, didepende na lang ito kung magkanong presyo ninyo nabili si DDMPR. And now, let's go to ARIT versus DDMPR. So, itong data na to ay collected using the numbers kay ARIT on its IPO. Ha? Hindi yung current na numbers na ngayon kasi obviously, it's different now. I just formulated it para at least mas balance yung comparison natin between the two. Let's start with the most clearing one, offer prices, ARIT 27. DDMPR to 225. For ARIT, they are they have raised approximately 13 billion, while KDDMPR they are trying to raise about 14 billion. And in terms of market cap, ayon, 12 billion versus 40 billion yung makikita natin based on the outstanding shares and offer prices. Dito ko nakita yung biggest disparity, no? So in terms of the assets. Nung nag-start si Arit, it only has 3 office buildings. While si DDMPR, it will be starting at around 6 office towers in Meridian Park. Pagdating naman dito sa rental income, we can see na almost the same sila noong 2019, 1.3 billion versus 1.77 billion. In terms of occupancy, dito fraction difference so it really doesn't matter. Dahil almost 100% almost leased 
or occupied ang lahat ng buildings ng both companies. In terms of tenants naman, ito medyo nagkaroon na ng difference no? dahil kay Airit, primarily BPO companies yung hawak niya doon. While kay DDMPR, gaming related and then POGOs. In terms of the uh, dividends naman, ito ano, katulad ng minention ko kanina doon sa summary ko on DDMPR, 2020, we are only seeing at around th the 3 quarters. So may kulang pa yan na isang quarter. Hindi ko na naisama. No? But if we'll just try to compare the three quarters ni Arit at DDMPR, these are the numbers that we'll see. And then in terms of the projection, ito nga, Arit is looking at around 5.12 this year, while si DDMPR is around 5.07. Now, apart from Arit and DDMPR na I think very comparable silang dalawa dahil pareha silang RIT and halos magkasabay lang din sila ng, ng listing date, we'll go to another comparables no which is the stock na nilist ni Injap and this is the DDMM and DDMPR i won't be reading all th all this information to you dahil kaya niyo naman siyang basahin but i just wanted to uh, highlight some of its feature no so let's say for example in terms of its oversubscription as we can see here DD nung nag IPO ito is about 14% oversubscribed and nakita natin na lumipat ito from 2 pesos in its first 2 years now si MM naman which is medyo bago pa lang no, during the IPO stage it was 2 times oversubscribed and as we can see it's now at around magkano na ba 7, 8 pesos from 1 peso lang noong nag-start ito June 15 last year. While CDDMPR based on the latest report, it is already at 1.78 times oversubscribed. So, we'll see how it performs sa market when it is listed on March 23. Another glaring differences sa kanilang lahat, no? This is very interesting even when I participated dun sa IPO ni Didi. Dahil comparing to MM and DMPR, si MM kasi it already has 7 branches eh, yung metro mart niya. While si DDMPR, meron ng 6 buildings. Pero si Didi at that time, wala pa. The bulk of its sales actually, nung time na yon was consisted of real estate sales. So benta yon ng mga property nila before. And on this listing, nagsisimula pa lang sila to secure locations para doon sa kanilang city mall. And yet, it's 14% oversubscribed. Now, based doon sa mga mention ko kanina, let's try to summarize what I think were the good and the not so good. Let's start with the good ones. So, first up is its high occupancy rate. Napansin nga natin kanina no, that the occupancy rate ng anim na buildings is close to 100%. So, that's a good news for <coughs> any property na nasa REIT sector. Second is of course liquidity. Ibig sabihin na ito, in case kakailangan natin ng additional fund, cash, or kung ano man, mas madali natin itong maibibenta dahil nasa stock market lang. Comparing it, kung halimbawa meron kang property na minamanage mo, it would take you maybe a few weeks kung sinuswerte ka or even months and years kung talagang medyo madalang. REITs are notorious for their high dividend yield. Tapos, idagdag mo pa yung price appreciation dahil isa itong uri ng stock. For most of its tenants, ang lease is at least 5 years. So, with the 40% uh, of them na mag-expire by 2023, which is, alam na natin, medyo may katagalan pa. And kahit na meron tayong pandemic ngayon, the economy is expected to recover optimistic siguro na sa end of the year or maybe next year 2022. So by 2023, we are already on the uh, pre-COVID na recovery. Tulad ng sinabi ko kanina, when the rental revenues goes up, dividend yield goes up as well. And last but not the least, ito yung sinasabi ko na intangible sa mga ganong, gantong klase ng stock, which is the Injap Magic, na nakita natin in both Double Dragon and Merry Mart. Although, hold your horses muna ha, kasi I do still think na hindi aabot ito doon sa naging 
liparan ng DDN MMB4. But still, it would be very exciting to see kung ano magiging performance niya on its first day. The not so good. First up is of course exposure to Pogo. Although nasa around 10% lang ang tenant base lang na Pogo, the sentiment towards that is medyo negative pa rin. So kahit pa ano, may effect pa rin ito doon sa IPO listing neto ni DDMPR. Also, we are still in the COVID pandemic. So there are still a lot of things to happen na I think will heavily impact yung mga property sector natin. Especially doon sa mga office leasing at saka commercial complexes. And ito nga, no, yung sinabi ko rin kanina, at 5% dividend yield, I would expect a little higher sana. Pero again, as I have mentioned, long term naman kasi yung play dito. <coughs> so, dahil nasa corner lot naman ito, which is considered golden pagdating sa real estate, I'm expecting na aangat pa yung presyo nung mga lots na yun doon. And it could give us a better dividend yield in the next few years. In some Hello everyone and good morning. Good morning po sa ating lahat. Hello. So as usual, uh, as I mentioned nakaraan, this would be the listing date ni uh, DDMPR uh, today, March 24. Ayan. So we will try to cover everything at least yung first first few minutes of uh, of DDMPR and sisilipin natin no, kung ano ang mga mangyayari sa kanya for today. Ayan. So by the way, <clears throat> yung nakita ninyo kanina is just a, ito yung video na, na nirelease ko kailan ba? Few weeks back uh, reviewing si uh, DDMPR. Ano? So that's a, uh, a, re- a recorded one. So pinlay ko lang. But ayan. So today it's uh, we are now live. So just wanted to check no uh, kung okay yung audio ko. So at least uh, we can start kasi it's already 9:26 so 4 or 3 minutes na lang eh magsisimula na tayo. Malinaw ba yung audio ko guys? Uh, and if nandiyan pa kayo. <laughs> Ayan. So um, if malinaw pa siya, pa-press naman ako ng number 4. Okay lang. Para at least uh, I can check kung gising lahat or nag-aabang pa naman. Ayan. Okay. Sige, sige. Ayan. Okay, thank you, thank you. Kita na ako, ang dami ng mga nag uh, na number 4, no? So, ayan. Hello sa inyong lahat, and good morning. So, ito, uh, on your screen today, uh, makikita natin ang projection. Okay? So, this is the projection for the opening ng, ng stock. And as we can see here, the DMPR is leading the pack with about 6.67% uh, potential pre-open price. Kung sinusundan nyo siya kanina, umabot ito ng 2.6. No? But then right now, medyo umaatras na siya at 6.67. Ayan. Okay, so titignan natin no, kung how this will work out para doon sa sa company or sa sa stock I've been trying to look for ano for the live na gagawin ng PSE dun sa ring of bell I'm not sure kung magkakaroon kasi di ba nga nagkaroon ng trading sorry nagkaroon ng suspension doon sa trading floor no sa PSE so I'm not sure if ipapakita pa nila yon or meron silang other videos na ila live but so far kasi wala pa ako mahanap no So, ayan. Uh, already. So, it's already 9.28. Ayan, medyo abangers na rin. Mm. Ayan, okay. So, right now, yung makikita natin na nasa 2.36 na lang siya. With 54 million na nasa buy side. Medyo makapal yung nasa sellers, no? Makikita natin kung ano ang mangyayari at the open. No? Y- ako, yun yung, ano ko, yun yung talagang 
uh, inaabangan ko no, kung ano ang mangyayari sa kanya at the Open. So, what I can expect here is, of course, the DMPR will be the main one that, dito no, sa ating ticker board. And, uh, ayan. Okay. So, sige. Last 30 seconds. Uh, ah, naka-live na. Ba't hindi ko nakikita? I mean, teka ha. Hindi ko siya nakikita sa akin. Bakit kaya ganun? Anyways, so yan. Uh, three, two, one. Okay. So we are finally on the listing. Yeah, so far, dito kay, um, kay DDMPR. Hala. Yan. Okay. So, it opened at a lot lower, at 2.26. Remember, ang listing price na ito is nasa 2.25. Okay? And we can see here, ayun na. We can find 2.24 here, 2.25. Okay. So, kung mapapansin natin, no, at least on my observation, ha, um, ibang-iba siya doon sa naging galawan ni MM nung nakaraan, nung nag-listing ito. I'm not sure kung nandito na kayo noon, but essentially, may uh, at the first uh, instance pa lang, eh, sobrang lipad na almost si, no, hindi almost, eh, talagang ceiling na agad si MM at that time. No? But then comparing it to dito sa galawan ni DDMPR, makikita natin na medyo may pagka-flat siya, no? Uh, so far, we are seeing uh, from 224 hanggang 229 pa lang yung nagagawang range ni uh, DDMPR at this time. Ayan. And, uh, ayan, 230. Let's see kung ano pa yung mangyayari sa kanya. Hmm. Hmm. Kaha. Sige, while that is running. Susubukan kong isa lang yung doon sa ano. Mr. C and Mr. Refran, please hold on to the rope and bell chain for the photo op. Kita pa ba siya? So, may photo op na nangyayari. <laughs> As usual. And I'll try to, ano, I'll try to give you the the, the link na itong Again, part a warm na round of applause for DDMP Reed Inc. That concludes our short program this morning. Thank you again to our on-site and online guests for attending. Stay safe, stay well, and may you all have a great day ahead. Ayan, sorry naman, late ko na siyang na nakita, no? But essentially, ayun, uh, sobrang bilis lang nung kanilang naging ceremony for today. Hindi na masyadong pinahaba, which is good, no? Ayan, so let me check, no, sa comment section kung kumusta na tayo, okay pa ba? <laughs> Ayan. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Hmm, tingnan natin ha, may mga comments dito. Uh, walang DDMPR sa video sec, pero pwede ba bumili ngayon sa market? Ah, okay. I think pwede na, no? If I'm not mistaken, na pwede ka nang bumili sa halos lahat ng brokers. Nagkaroon na ng problema doon sa sa list, doon sa ano, sa IPO offer, offer period doon lang. Pero pwede na, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, ayun, sinagutan na pala ni, uh, ni Esprit, no? Okay. Uh, John Mar, may position ka ba dyan? Yes, meron. Uh, nakabili ako nung sa IPO. No. 
Hello AJ, good morning sa iyo. Ayun. Okay, sige. So hayaan lang natin siya. Uh, it's already trading at 239, 240 right now. Ayoko namang i ano lang natin yung ano natin sa DDMPR. Although ito yung main natin. Let's just have a quick check, no. So right now, PSEI our market is down minus 32 points or 0.51%. <clears throat> And sa so napapansin natin dito, no, halos lahat, or no, lahat ng ating sector ay on a negative percentages, no, uh, lead, led by mining and oil, na nasa 1.48 na. Uh, let's try to check the index. So, ito nga. So far, almost everyone is on the loser side. Gainers natin, lima pa lang. Okay? And then, napansin ninyo yung swing, nung mga na, yung mga small charts nila dito. Laglag lahat 'yo. Eh, boom, 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 boom. 'Di ba? Ang sakit. Uh, sa stats, let's try to check. Uh, top gainer natin of course is uh, DDMPR na nasa 5.78%. Next was Apo, BKR, RCB, STI and the rest. And then on the worst losers naman, we can see here, IMP, PLC, OPMB, may mga ano ba? Oh, DD is down by about 6%. PES, 4%. JFC, Nickel. Oh, okay. Dito is down also, minus 2%. PA, minus almost 3%. Okay, so not a good sign for uh, for the market today. And uh, ang worry ko dito is baka maapektuhan ng market sentiment yung nangyayaring listing dito kay TDMPR. No? Sabi ni Reginald medyo <clears throat> medyo mabigat talaga si uh, si DDMPR. Ay, yeah. Yeah. A lot of things are in play here, of course. Uh, the first one is yung kanyang market sentiment talaga. No? Yun yung nakikita akong main, main driver. Uh, pero on the other hand naman kasi, because of that market sentiment, uh, a lot of traders are actually looking for a stock na pwedeng mapaglaruan. No? And because of the listing ni DDMPR, there's a good chance na makasama siya doon sa pwedeng mapaglaruan na stock. No? Yun nga lang, syempre, um, that's a high-risk maneuver na pwedeng gawin ng isang experienced na trader. Yan. So, uh, sabi ni Dana, Abacus, top seller uh, at 92%. Ah, na, na, 92 million, no? O, ano, silipin natin yung buyers and sellers. So far, yeah. Abacus, 100, almost 130% na. Ah, 100, 130 million na ang ang selling volume no ni uh, ni Abacus while ang bumibili ay si Call of course na nasa around 218 I just wonder no kung gaano kalaki kung gaano yung kalaki Abacus no Ito silipin natin na kung makikita natin uh, ayun mula 930 kanina up ah, nagana na pala Ayan. And so, mula 9.30 kanina, ang bilis ng, ano, ng trading. Hindi makakatch up yung ano ko. <laughs> Ayan. BPI. Heavy seller din si BPI nung naunong part. Well, sec, and then si call. Ito yung 9.30 ah, kanina 9.30 a.m. May bank also participating on the selling side. Papa, APS, FIA, Value Quest, Abacus. Ayan, ang haba nung kay Abacus oh. Yung linya ni Abacus ito mukhang ang dami nag-unload ng shares kay Abacus ah. So right now, nasa 2.30 na. Naglalaro between 2.30 to 
habang ang index naman natin ay patuloy na bumababa, no? It's now at 232. Okay. Sige. Silipin natin sa, ano, masyadong magalaw kasi yung doon sa part ng uh, times and sales. Ayan. So, once again, call, no? Uh, still getting the bulk of the of the shares today so far. While Abacus naman, eh, ang laki nung difference niya from comparing it to the next line, which is K-Call, no? Ayan. Sabi ni Janmar, yung DD tsaka MM bumababa. Yeah, oo nga. Ang sakit, no? <laughs> yeah, ganun talaga. Uh, laki ng harang dun sa 224. Ay, kanina pa yata ito, 935. Oo. Actually, malaki na rin harang dito sa 220. O nga, no? Sa 224. Pero if you can check, no? 82, 83 orders lang yan. Mas marami pang orders dito sa ano? Sa 10, sa 225. Para kang bumili ng ano ng IPO. <laughs> o dun sa mga hindi nakabili na nakaraan, no? Para kang bumili dun sa part na yun. Ayan. Full debt nga natin. Tingnan natin to. Kung nasaan na siya. Okay. May man ang kasalang sa ceiling, eh, no? Pero I doubt kung aabutin sila today. Ayan. Uh, sabi ni Emmanuel, expected down kasi down din yata ang, ah, sa US market talaga. Yun lang, hindi ko lang na, ano, na, na monitor kagabi. Uh, baka nalipat na sa DDMPR yung, alin to, yung sa DD, DD tsaka MM kanina. Pwede, pwede. Pero again, overall kasi down yung market eh. So, that means talaga market sentiment is still bearish for today. And uh, malamang naghahanap ang mga traders ng mga pwedeng mapaglaruan. And given na nasa DDMPR ang spot tight today, then baka yun yung pwede nilang gawin. No? Okay. Sabi ni Kamatis man, mukhang retailers nagbibenta, sila din bumibili. Tapos, sasalhin ang mga uh, insti pag pullback. Well, sana. But, Uh, of course, hindi natin kayang ma-predict yung mga ganyang bagay. Sabi ni Rab, uh, at least merong volume today dahil sa DDMPR. Yeah. yeah. It's good, no? Na merong volume. Pero if you can check here, oh, the value so far is nasa around 981. And kung papasin natin yung value ni DDMPR, nasa 640. So, that means ang total value pa lang natin, kung tatagal natin si DDMPR, is nasa less than 200 or nasa 200 million pa lang. Papasok na tayo in the next 15 minutes no, ng ating trading for today. So, yeah, malamya pa din. Malamya pa rin talaga yung ating trading for today. Ayan. Uh, grabe din yung foreign sell. Yep. Sabi ni Janmar, yung APL po, chumuchupit yung tower kahapon. Saka sa open nila kanina. Okay. Sige, Sige nga, silipin nga natin ibang mga stock. Para, ano, ah, hayaan natin huminga muna itong si DDMPR. So, APL. Uh, APL is now flat. With about 50 million pa lang na nasa na volume, no? Okay. Uh, sabi ni Jeremiah Boss, FMS Pro din ako. Sa FMS ka talaga tumitingin ng mga price action. Uh, yes, so far, oo. Kasi I enjoy kasi yung interface ng uh, ng FMS Pro. No, yun lang. Wala namang difference sa iba. Yun lang. Mas gusto ko lang yung interface so far na itong K-Pro. Uh, Arian, ano po kaya ang pinakakayang iakit na ito? yun kasi yung hindi natin kaya i-predict eh, no? Um, but kung huhulaan ko lang, as in, this is hula, purely hula lang, uh, I'm looking at around uh, minus 5 to plus 10 dahil sa galawan niya today. So, ibig sabihin, minus 
percent up until plus 10 percent no uh, judging on the again yung price action na nakikita natin as of the moment yan DDMP lang ata maraming trades yep mm mm-hmm. Mm, ah, okay. Thank you, James, for this information. No? So, mukhang yeah, down nga kagabi ang US market. And, syempre, dahil alam nyo na, walang makitang stimulus or walang makitang catalyst dito sa local. So, most likely, they will adopt yung US market kagabi. Uh, may dividend ba si DDMPR? Yes, magkakaroon siya. Ngayon, hindi pa lang natin alam kung magkana exactly. Uh, akala ko may 2-day holding period ng mga foreign sa DDMPR. Wala po. Wala po. Uh, regardless if it's foreign or local, ang meron lang holding period na 180 days ay yung mga executives and yung mga <coughs> yung mga investors na may hawak ng at least ilan ba? 10% ng total holdings eh. So, basta merong mga million siguro. Millions of share. So, ayan. Uh, sabi ni Claire dito, was do you consider Primex as healthy pullback from its rally? Bumaba na ba si, uh, si Primex? Okay. Uh, Primex is uh, up of 4.49. Now, asan na yung chart ko? but wala yung chart? Aha. Load ko muna yung ano. Hindi ko pala na-load. Masyado na excite. <laughs> Ayun. Okay, so for Primex. Mm, okay. Let me try and extend this one. Tayo. Hmm, okay. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. Uh, technically kasi, this is the pullback handle yung kahapon. No? So, yung today is just rebound na ba siya agad? Parang, sa akin kasi pagka rebound, no, I'm looking at about 2 uh, to 3 candles. So, kung yung candle lang ngayon, let's say, ha, mag, uh, let's assume na ito mag, uh, magko-close at 185 today then I would still look at the next candle, which is the candle tomorrow. That is to confirm na uh, nagkaroon na ng healthy pullback, no? Kasi I, on the pullback kasi, it's another thing na makita natin yung candle. It's another thing na makita natin na yung actual support ay nag-hold. No? So, yun yung gusto kong makita for, prime, for Primex. Okay. Uh, uh, ano na yung mga top natin ngayon. So, win-lose. Of course, uh, DDMPR is nasa top. Ah, most active pala ito. Ito. So, Primex, RCB, Chib, MRSGI. Ayan. Silipin natin si MRSGI. This is one of the stocks na 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 gustong gusto ko no? because of its fundamentals. Yun nga lang, hindi siya nagbibigyan ng much attention, to be honest, pagdating sa mga trades. No, kasi kung mapansin natin dito, <laughs> value 26,000 lang shoots. No. Um, if you ask me, uh, fundamental wise, mas gusto ko ang ang ginagawa or ang mas mas gusto ko si MRSGI compared kay Pigold. No. Yun nga lang again, ang problema lang dito kay MRSGI is that hindi siya ganun ka popular comparing it to Pigold. Kung si Pigold ang number one sa NCR and the zone, MRSGI is getting the much needed attention sa Visayas and Mindanao. No. So, ayun. Okay, ano na nangyari dun sa iba? Tingnan natin. Dito, okay. So, almost flat hindi pa rin siya nakakatawid, no? Above 10 pesos. Which is quite sad. At least, uh, APL. 
Yun, maganda yung ginawa ni APL kahapon. Yun nga lang, ang problema ko is that wala eh. Hindi pa rin siya kumakatok lang siya doon sa ano, doon sa 1990, 1990 no na na level. Pero hindi pa rin siya maka-breakout. So I hope no na ayan, nag-green na siya ngayon. So I hope magtuloy-tuloy siya. Uh, ano pa? Let's look at pa. Ayan. Kabalik na rin naman ni, uh, ni APL. No? Kung si APL kumakatok doon sa resistance, itong si pa, pumupukpok naman doon sa support no? na nasa 2 pesos. Uh, sabi ni uh, Kamatis man dito, would you consider reversal na ba yung kay Ali? Simpan si Ali, no? Mm, for me, not yet. Specific for Ali kasi, um, ang tinitingnan ko naman na sa kanya is itong MA200 line. I would be much more comfortable sana, no, for Ali if makatawid na siya above MA200. Kasi right now, it's still on a downtrend, eh. And di ba nga sabi natin, uh, uh, trend is your friend. So, kung makikita natin na itong si Ali ay nasa baba pa rin ng trend, then alanganin pa ako dyan. So, I would wait. I would wait for uh, for Ali na umangat dito sa ano. I know, liliit yung upside. That's true. No? However, the ano naman, yung conviction naman on that will be a much, will be much higher. No? Kasi syempre, dito yung mga gantong galawan. Ano pa yan? Every um, every green na makikita natin dyan, that's a potential profit selling doon sa mga may hawak. And then, after nun, susundan niya ng mga mas malalalim na candle. Just like what's happening here, di ba? So, basag, nabasag, green. Profit taking, the next day, nabasag ulit. So, oh, hindi siya nasusundan. No? Uh, ngayon, it's up by 0.73%, which is good. So, that's why sinasabi ko lang is, mas gusto ko siya na makita above. Above the MA200 line talaga. That is for just added conviction lang. No? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, si Pa, we have checked pa kanina. VUL, no nga no? Wala tahimik nga si VUL kasi. Tahimik na siya. Nag-consolidate na lang siya dito sa area na to. Nasa around the 2 hanggang 210 na level. Although much better siya, no? Uh, in terms of uh, of chart, comparing it to, to Ali. Kasi at least medyo nasa sideways pa rin naman siya. But then again, so basically chart-wise, mas gusto ko yung nakikita ko kay Vulcan compared to Ali. Pero fundamental-wise, which is the the most important part for me, I would still choose Ali, of course, over Vulcan. <laughs> okay. Uh, Esprit Gamings kasi ngayon are not a good bet for the meantime dahil dahil sa pandemic. No? Pero if you are a uh, someone who would like na bumubodega uh, para doon sa attempt ng recovery in the future, then yeah, of course, uh, yung mga heavily affected ng pandemic, sila syempre yung in-expect natin na makakasama doon sa recovery ng economy. No? But for the short term, kay, uh, kay Bloom, any gaming stock, Bloom, uh, Resorts World, ano pa ba? Basta yung mga yon LRs, Yan. Uh, I would stay away from them on the short term. Mm, anong effect na pagbenta ng stick ni C sa to go? Makaka-recover kay si C? Let's try to find out. Ano nangyari kay C ngayon? Yeah, nasa bottom. <laughs> Makaka-recover ba siya? Ay, siguro and sana. No? Ayun nga lang kasi sobrang deep nung, pagka, nung pagbagsak ni, uh, ni Chelsea eh. No, uh, right now it's trading at what 328. So we'll see, no. We'll see kung gaano ka, ka strong itong 3 325 level sa kanya. In terms of effect naman kasi kay Chelsea, well, yeah, bearish siya. 
kasi again um, binenta niya yung stake niya kay to go para may pambayad siya sa mga utang di ba and kahapon or kagabi nakita natin yung kay uh, PNX naman kay Phoenix na the board also approved na potentially eh, up for sale or lease ang mga assets or may mga assets na up for sale or lease kay Phoenix. No? So, kay Phoenix Petroleum kasi, um, they also bought several foreign companies before. So, I'm not sure, ha, baka kasama rin yun sa pwede nilang i-deal no? towards the end of the, ano, of the period. Um... Uh, Alvin, hello, good afternoon. Ah, good, good afternoon tuloy. Good morning. Pa-shout out kay Brian, kay Briner. Hello, hello, Briner. <laughs> Shout out sa'yo, sabi ni, uh, ni Alvin. And, uh, Jong, same thing with Seb and Pal. So, they still hold that um, short term, no? Short term na 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 market sentiment because of the pandemic. Okay. Ay, ba't nasa chart ako ng DDMPR? Okay. Let me try and uh, check here. Oh. Ano yung BHA na nangyari doon? Parang napansin ko siya sa ticker board, ha? Ah, wala. Ayan. So, BHA, tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung pagbagsak niya, no? From point ninety, which is yung kanyang resistance. Nauntog na siya doon, ayun, no? Points, no? I hope mag uh, I hope na mag uh, ano dito? Mag hold itong 0.8 sa kanya na support otherwise 0.07. <clears throat> okay. So, um, okay, APL nakita ko umabot na ng support 1990. Long pass na nag 2010 na. Ayun, nice. Good job for ano, for APL, no? But still, um, as I always say, <coughs> but tagal nga, inom lang muna ako. <coughs> Ayan. <coughs> Ayan. So, ay nga, as, I'm, I'm, as I was saying with, um, with APL, hindi ko lang kung ano nangyari sa boses ko. Muna pa pa ako si Ata or something. <coughs> Ayan. So, ayan nga, no? as I mentioned uh, for APL, pagka yung isang stock kasi umaabot or at least tumutong-tong no? doon sa kanyang support level, uh, mahalaga na makita na at end of day, eh, mag-hold pa rin yung stock na yun. No? So, for APL, ang magiging main strategy ko rito, being a swing trader, is to wait for maybe um, one to two more candles just to see, no, and to test also if itong 1990 na to will, will hold. Otherwise, wala. Maging olats na lang ako dyan. <laughs> Pag nagkataon. Um, sabi ni Rolls dito, no? how much is the initial shares being offered? Nino, Rolls. Okay. Silipin nga natin si na, ano, si na Didi tsaka si, eh, si, oh, okay, medyo malalim din to, no? 4% down. Okay. While kay MM, nabasag ba? Hindi man. Okay. So, uh, the good thing is, nag, uh, nag-hold itong 450 sa kanya. Nakita tayo ng red candle today, which is, for me, uh, that's, that's totally fine, no? Kasi nakita naman natin medyo umangat naman siya in the past couple of days. Uh, and this is for me a healthy a healthy candle despite na red siya kasi syempre uh, some stocks has to breathe no and uh, unfortunately ngayon kasi because we are generally on a sideways market right now um sideways market na merong bearish sentiment so that means it's now gearing towards uh, the down the downtrend part no uh, but we have to to wait and see how that will pan out for us. Ayan. So, those stocks needs to breathe. And uh, it's healthy to see. Maganda yung gano'n, no? Yung green, green, red. Green, green, red. Kesa naman sa red, red, green, red, red, green. <laughs> diba? Ayan. Uh, sabi ni AJ, MM, ayun. Ayun, sakto. Na ano natin si MM today. Alright now. 
Sabi ni Lowell, ano pong magandang stock pasokin ngayong panahon ng pandemic? Okay, so of, of course, on a short term, those uh, those stocks na we consider as a uh, pandemic proof are those belonging on the necessity group. No? So ano na yung mga yun? Of course, food, internet, power. So yun yung nakikita ko. No, but then the rest are just more on speculation na lang. Hello, Donna Shell. Good morning. Uh, Marco, nagpapahinag pa si APL, timing your entry. Yep, I would agree with that. Uh, si Claire, uh, for DDMPR personally, would you prefer IPO price or breakout from IPO price? Kung ako, I would, I would go with, ano, with... Uh, below IPO price. <laughs> kasi gusto uh, kasi nga uh, gusto ko pang bumili ng additional shares dahil ang plano ko sa kanya is of course long term dividends. Yun talaga yung target ko for um, for the, for REITs, no? So this is also of applicable kay a REIT. Okay. Yeah, but kung dalawa lang yung pagpipili ang ko uh, personally would prefer IPO or breakout prefer ko to do what pala medyo hindi ko na clarify yan to buy to to sell to catch paano ba um is it possible to transfer reits between brokers considering na uh, no cd yes pwede as long as you have no cd accounts on both brokers you can transfer it walang problema i just have to talk to your broker na may hawak ka ng reit and then ay lang transfer of uh, of stock lang ang mangyayari. No? Just make sure ha, you have no CD, no CD account din dun sa kabila mong broker. Kasi kung hindi, hindi ka papayagan. Yan. Si Marco naman, watching Pig Gold, if kayong bumalik sa MA100. Ano na ba nangyayari kay, ano, kay Pig Gold? Pig Gold? <laughs> Yan. Ah. This is interesting. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, malalim na sa akin niya itong MA... Ay, 50 pala ito. MA100. Wala akong MA100. Okay. Uh, I do like this one. no uh, As I mentioned kasi kanina, those stocks na nagbe-break, they need to breed. And itong red candle na to will be very, very interesting for me. no As long as it holds doon sa 38.6 na level, yeah. Di ba nga sabi ko, uh, kung naka, naka-tune in kayo lagi sa akin, ang sinasabi ko is that I always buy at the green. Ay, sorry. I always buy at the red. I sell at the green. no So, ayan. This is a classic example. This is the pullback. This is a pullback candle that we are seeing right now. no My hope is that mag-close ito ng mga nasa around 39 pesos. Okay. As long as, again, 38.60, mag, uh, mag-hold lang yan, that will be ideal for me. Okay. So, let's go back. Silipin natin kung ano nangyari kay DDMPR. Ayan. Okay. So, right now, it's at 2.33. Okay. Up ng 3.56%. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. No. Uh, kita pa rin natin yung heavy volume dito sa 298 as ah, a 224 level, no. And even sa 225. Ang dami oh. <laughs> Ang daming gustong mamili doon sa 225 level and especially doon sa 224 level. Yun nga lang heavy pa rin itong nasa nasa seller side, no. Kung mapansin natin. And as expected, after kasi ng mga around 30 minutes of, kasi ganito yan, no? uh, pagdating sa IPO, medyo, siguro, let's let's just uh, take uh, reads ng may konting exceptions, no? But generally kasi sa isang IPO, the critical stage there is within the next 30 minutes. So, between 9.30 hanggang 10 a.m. Kasi dito, kumukuha ng queue ang mga traders kung ano ang, ano ang gagawin ng stock. No? Ngayon, Pag nakita nila na, okay, nasa around 3% na lang siya or nasa, yeah. So, kumbaga maliit lang yung naging, yung naging gap 
from the from the listing price up to the current price most will consider that as a flat no so like for example for me uh, i would consider this as a, as a flat no and um, my expectation for that is on the next uh, one hour baka magkaroon na ng konting um konting paghina doon sa volume no and then as we go to the rest of the intraday siguro mga around 30 mga around 11 siguro yeah mga around 11 am yon doon ako na titingnan ulit kung meron bang changes doon sa movement ng stock kasi otherwise wala walang mag, walang Pag walang movement, then baka hindi na siya patusin ng mga, ng mga traders na who are looking at the stock on a short term. no So, ayun lang. Just uh, sharing my thought process whenever I play on IPOs. Okay, kasi nga di ba sabi ko sa inyo, I always buy IPO. And then, magdidepende na lang yung strategy ko kung ano yung magiging overall sentiment ko doon sa, sa stock na yun. And of course, sa makita kong movement ng market. Ayan. Okay, so, sige. Uh, we can stay siguro for the next 10 more minutes, guys. Kasi late na ako sa work ko. <laughs> May pasok ako ngayon. Uh, chinek lang natin itong, ano, itong nangyayaring listing date, no? Uh, listing for, uh, for DDMPR. Okay. But so far, ano pa naman eh? So far, uh, ano pangalan nito? Uh, I do like what it's going right now. I know hindi siya ganun kataasa, no? As we, as a lot of people are expecting. Pero at the same time, let's look at it in a more positive way. Diba? Our market is down. Let's start with that. The market is down. And yet, tapos listing pa ng isang stock. No? So for me this is this is a a good news na at least for now. And ov- obviously DDMPR, sabi ko nga ano, I'm not expecting it na magiging na magiging heavy na magsisiling katulad ng nangyari kay um, kay DD at saka kay MM. Because it's a rit na technically dapat mabagal ang kanyang galawan. Okay? And right now meron tayong may counting advertisement no about diabetes. Doon sa nasa Facebook. Anak ng to pa. Uh, mamaya, I'll, I'll remove that. Okay? And I'll ban yung tao na to. So, ayan. Okay. So, eh, tayo wala eh. Doon tayo siya nagalaro. Nasa 2.30 to 2.32 level. No? Uh, buyers and sellers, abakos pa rin ba? Abakos pa rin eh. Although humina na si Abacus, no? kasi kanina nung binag-uusapan natin siya nasa 160 na yan. Ngayon 184 na lang. And si Cole, dumoble na. Kanina nasa around 30, 40 lang yan. Ngayon 70 na. On the seller side ha. Pero still on the buyer side, makikita natin, Cole is still king. no? Dito sa part na to. Halos kalahati nasa kanya. Followed by First Metro, BPI, and Triple A. Ayan. Volume, heavy kanina sa 2.26 pero maaga naman kasi yan nangyari. But right now, nasa 2.32 to 2.33. Yun yung expectation. Ayun. Action doon nga siya. Doon nagkakaroon ng heavy na ano dito. Ayan. Masaya, masaya. <coughs> Okay, um, ano pa ba? Saan ba ako huminto? Uh, for Dana, may MM ka pa. Sir, yep, uh, may MM pa ako. Nag-unload na ako nung nakaraan ng konte, Pero may hawk pa akong, may natitira pa. Diyan naman nakakasira na trading yung <laughs> Truth. <laughs> Ganun talaga. Um, yeah, it's already confirmed na news. No, uh, hindi na siya rumor. And actually, last year pa itong Phoenix na to. 
uh, I've heard of this uh, since last year pero hindi lang nagmaterialize. Yeah. So ngayon, uh, nireiterate lang nila yung part na yan. Pero technically, yeah, nasa ano na na yung bago lang ngayon is of course yung specific no, yung assets kasi last year uma, uh, from the range of few assets up until benta ang buong Phoenix. But then uh, kagabi yung binigay din disclosure was that uh, yung specifically mga assets lang. Yep. Okay. Si uh, TI Panero nakapasok din sa DD rate at 2.36 medyo mataas. Okay lang po. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Kasi again, depende naman 'yan, 'di ba, kung anong plan niyo talaga sa isang stock. That's the reason why I don't have a, a definitive answer kapag mayroon nga tanong bibili na ba ako or hold na ba ako or magsisell na ba ako <coughs> kasi to be honest ayan na naman yung boses ko teka <coughs> ayan hello ayan okay so <laughs> hindi ko alam kung medyo mano na yung ako. but anyways yeah uh, as I'm saying uh, mahirap talagang sagutin kasi, kasi yung mga ganong klase yung tanong kung hold buy or sell no kasi I don't know eh kung ano yung plano talaga ninyo in the first place so ayan kaya ang ginagawa ko lang minsan is uh, I give some options uh, or I mean I give some guides no kung, kung meron akong hawak na stock or kung kung wala pa akong hawak na stock So, ganong, ganong approach ko siya tinitingnan. Mm, sabi ni Tabon, uh, late ka na, overtime. Uh, oo nga eh. So, let's wait for four more minutes and then we can uh, end. No? <coughs> si Dan Ceiling, please. <laughs> uh, sa ginagawa ni DDMPR right now, mukhang hindi ito magsisiling today. Um, for Dana, average down ka na lang po if ever. Mm-hmm. Ah, I think ito, I think uh, response ni Dana, ito kay KTI Panero kanina, no? Uh, uh, okay, again, uh, if I average down or not, I generally, I don't average down. Okay? Unless it is a for long-term port. Okay, so like for example, uh, as I've mentioned, REITs are REITs are one of my long-term port, no? So kapag bumaba ito on a specific price point, then I would be interested to buy them or to average down, no? Pero kung hindi, then kung normal stock lang, I don't. Yan. So, okay. Right now, uh, let's have a quick recap na. No? So, DDMPR, balikan natin siya. Uh, index, 37 points, down by 37 points. Uh, si services nakabawi na by about 1 point. 1 <laughs> point lang yan, so not a big deal. But uh, essentially, ayun. Uh, on the gainer side, we can see si Mer leading the pack here, uh, 1%. While on the loser side, we, car- we are seeing... SMC and JFC. Head, hindi mga head-to-head, pero at least sila yung uh, top losers. No? And kung makikita natin yung mga chart dito ng mga sectors, si Industrial, medyo maganda yung galawan dahil nag-rebound. Si Holdings, almost flat dun sa baba. Si Services, siya yung sumipa ng gusto. No? Uh, services, ang mga stocks niyan, eto, Mer, Tel, Mer and Tel so far. At least dito sa part na to, no? Okay. Now, on the, ano naman, uh, top gainers and losers. Oh, okay. So, we have uh, uh, Nihau at 6 or 7%. ST, followed by STI, 5%. The FNN Food Primex, still, uh, still the same, uh, about 4%. Yan. 
While on the worst losers naman, we are seeing yung magkapatid na si OPM at saka si OPMB. Pero ang lita ng trade, so baliwala lang yan. Jerry pumasok, no? Pero wala maliit. Ang pinakamalaki dito ay si Didi so far. Oo, lumobo na siya. Point, ah, uh, hindi. Ay, yeah, kanina ganun din, mga 6 point, minus 6.9 siya kanina. But right now, it's minus 6.3. Sino pa? Ito. Sino to? SMC. Okay. Ayan. So, yun yung naging galawan ng top gainers and losers natin. And, uh, of course, uh, final look on uh, DDMPR right now. Uh, so, uh, quick recap. So, listing of DDMPR today, uh, IPO price of 2.25. And uh, it is now trading at around 2.31. Or about 2%. So, maliit, maliit lang yung, yung gap. Uh, nakakakita tayo ng heavy uh, volume dito sa buyer side between 2.24 and 2.25. So, what this tells me is that uh, there's a good chance na mag-hold uh, mag itong at the very least 2.24 level. No? But then again, uh, medyo mahaba-haba pa. We still have about uh, close to 1 hour and 40 minutes on the trading. So still a lot of things can happen here. Ang hope ko lang eh sana mag, uh, mag-stay put no? uh, above 225 level. Itong si DDMPR. Okay. <clears throat> so, sige, last question na lang, sasagutin ko rito for Karen. Uh, do you think the tataas ang DDMPR considering the market? Uh, to be honest, this is a good news na for DDMPR, no? Uh, because of what's happening sa market. Especially because of that. So, this is still a good news. Uh, but then again, hindi pa kasi tapos ang araw. So, we still have to wait kung ano magiging final closing price nito ni DDMP. Okay, and may mga nagsasabi po kasi na possible bumaba ang PSEI ng 5.7 level. Well, again, all possibilities are there naman. Pwede mo mabayan. Kung gusto pa nga natin, pwede mo mabayan ng 1,000 level. No? But at the same time, pwede pa rin yung umangat. No? Uh, so far, uh, I think we have already seen the worst noong last year na umabot yung PSEI ng, what, 5,000? Mid-5,000? Um, are we... Uh, do I expect na babalik ulit sa ganong level? Hmm... Sa ngayon, mahirap tansyahin, no? Pero, if in case it goes there, it will be a um, a long, a very long consolidation, no? Uh, my expectation is that pagpasok ng mga vaccines dito sa, or pagdating mga vaccines natin, eh, at least kahit pa paano magkakaroon na ng konting positivity doon sa overall market sentiment. Okay. So ayun, uh, yun lang muna sa ngayon guys, no. Maraming salamat for tuning in. And uh, once again, this is the uh, first day or listing date ni DDMP RIT. So ayun, I'm not sure if kaya nating mag uh, end of day mamaya. I'll try my best, no. Uh, so ayun, otherwise kung hindi pa pag end of day mamaya, then we can still go with our uh, stock kwentuhan mamaya ng gabi. Ayan. Okay, so maraming salamat guys ha, uh, for tuning in and uh, good luck sa inyong mga tradings. Take care and uh, goodbye. See you later. Bye.